Welcome to Classic Rock and Country Music Facts and Trivia. I appreciate you being here. Uh, today's video, Gene Simmons of KISS, who most people would claim to be the best and greatest live band, live act uh, there ever was, and me included. But Gene Simmons names well, who he thinks is the best live band, and it's not KISS. What makes a good live show is it the sound quality, the atmosphere, the power, power technics, uh, the audience interaction, the set list, according to Gene Simmons, the ultimate defining quality of live excellence is how the band holds itself. If it ignores what others are doing and focuses on everything it has to offer, that's when the true magic happens. Of course, many KISS fans will likely argue that this is precisely the appeal of their favorite band. With their energetic and visceral onstage presence, uh, it's hard to find anyone that did it like KISS. In fact, this exact caliber of uniqueness garnered them legions of fans. And even if their sound and image seemed off-putting or artificial for some in the beginning. But the live show isn't just about whether a band stands out. It's in their attitude, their silent ability to shun critics, and their unspeakable prowess under the spotlight. The kind that says, we're all here together for one night of fun. Why not enjoy it? According to Simmons, there's only one band that holds this uh, kind of magnitude on the platform. And that's ACDC. ACDC has been enjoying a wide, uh, widely popular run of live shows lately, which just goes to show that five decades on, they hold the same type of appeal. Uh, Simmons' love for the band runs deep, mostly because he witnessed their trajectory as a band uh, that went from putting in all the work to one that cl uh, couldn't have slowed down if they tried. Perhaps this is why when the musician was out once asked about who he thought was the best ever live act, uh, he wasted no time naming the legendary rock band. Best set? ACDC on their first tour, he explained. During an interview with uh, Cyrus XM, a band that didn't pay attention shares the same philosophy, no matter what any other band is doing, thine own self be true, he continued. Really, in stance on the current landscape, he admitted, a lot of the people took the same and act the same and do the same, regardless of genre, he continued. There's a lot of sameness going on. Detailing how a band like ACDC helped to rupture this trend, he added, Every once in a while, you see a band like ACDC. Nobody's like them. We like to think that we're unique in that way, too. It's clear why the ACDC force continues to burn strong. Their audience is comprising of a mix of fans who were there from the very beginning and the younger generation who were likely tipped off by their parents. It's in the spark, the fire that refuses to dim even after all these years. As Brian Johnson projected out to his passionate army of fans during the recent uh, London Wembley Stadium show, we're going to have some fun and play some rock and roll. It's that simple. And I've seen uh, ACDC, I think it was an 81, Black and Black Tour. Good show. Really good show. Uh, incredibly good show. I mean, uh, to me, this is me. I'm a KISS fan. They're not to the level of KISS's live show. Uh, but uh, I think their music makes up for that. I mean, they, <laughs> they got some great music, some really pounding music that's actually danceable as well so i mean if you got a hard rock that you're able to dance to you're going to draw all kinds of people which they do anyway all i got for you guys i hope you enjoyed this please don't forget to subscribe please like this video you guys have a great day god bless I'm praying for you